y'all. Y'all wouldn't believe what I did. So if you watch some of my videos in the past, you know that I was supposed to do a Ancient Cosmetics Stretch Mark Butter Update. And if you're a real one, you saw that video when it came out. But y'all, somehow, some way, I deleted it by mistake. <sighs> so, for those interested in the content, I'm going to show y'all update right now. And I'm going to keep using it. Even though I had already continued to keep using it, I made up my mind I was going to stay consistent. But I don't have any of my previous video. I don't have the clips that I took over that month period of time. The pictures, the video clips, they're gone. They went bye-bye. So that's why I'm here. Today is May 24th. 2022 and I'm gonna show y'all my stomach what it looks like right now I've been using the stretch mark butter for almost two months and this is what it looks like So that's what it looks like today. Again, I don't see drastic results, but I do see some improvement. This is how much of the butter I have used thus far. It's been almost two months and I still have a good amount left. I have enough for at least another two months. This is a butter that I only use on my stomach area where I have those stretch marks. That is it. That is the only place I use this butter because it has a strong, pungent lavender aroma that is not my favorite. I enjoy lavender, but this is lavender overload. I love lavender paired with stuff. This just smells like some strong, 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 strong lavender. It does not stink. It's just not my favorite. If you love lavender, this might be for you. This is probably something you could use all over. Mm, not so much for me. The ingredients are shea butter, cocoa butter, coconut oil, lavender oil, grapeseed oil, and jojoba oil. The directions say apply twice daily or as needed. It's handmade in the USA. It says we always recommend to spot test new products. If discomfort or irritation occurs, discontinue use. It says no sulfates, no parabens, no gluten, no synthetic colors, and no animal testing. Okay, so. I like it. In my video that I deleted, by mistake, I mentioned that this is only something I use once daily. The directions say apply twice daily or as needed. As a new mom, I am not showering twice a day and I'm a person that only moisturizes when I'm fresh out of the shower. So I do not use this twice a day only once at most and I can't say I've used it every single day it's been most days I'm hoping that I remember everything in this video that I talked about but y'all I'm shooketh I'm shooketh anybody wondering why I deleted the video or where the video went I deleted it by mistake it was not on purpose in that video, I had update pictures that I took every so often. I don't have those pictures anymore. So what I'm gonna do is do another update. So I'll do another Ancient Cosmetics Stretch Mark Butter update in a month. And I will try my best to take 
some pictures of my stomach and my stretch marks so y'all can see the comparison pictures and videos and I will do another video. But I wanted to put this out there just the FYI because it was a mistake. <sighs> y'all, it could have been worse. It really could have been another video that I really, really liked. So I ain't even that mad, okay. I'm mad, but I ain't that mad, okay, okay. So be on the lookout for future Ancient Cosmetic Stretch Mark Butter content because it's coming for y'all. Thanks for watching. Love you guys.